Well, smoke from some of the state's wildfires is making its way into the Kern River Valley. It's not as picturesque as it would normally be. However, that has not affected the holiday crowds. 17's Perla Shaheen now with what locals want visitors to know. That's right, Tammy. People aren't letting the pandemic or poor air quality ruin their long weekend. It was nothing but hazy skies in the valley today. There's plenty of smoke surrounding Lake Isabella, and you can't even see the mountains from across the river. Gary Ananian, the executive director of Kern River Conservancy, says he could barely breathe. We were up there this morning, and I don't have health issues, but I felt like I was having health issues going up there, just unable to breathe. The, the smoke is thick, and somehow there's about 30,000 people up there hanging out on the river. I, <laughs> I was in my car. I got out for two minutes. I thought, geez, how are these people sitting out here? You can see all the trailers and RVs along the water from miles away. Hundreds brought their jet skis and boats to Lake Isabella this weekend, but that's not all they brought. I started at 8 o'clock this morning on the top of Evans Road at Alta Sierra, and I picked up probably three trash cans in that 10 miles. And then I stopped at South Fork, and I've been down there for several hours, and I, I can't even guess. You know, I've been dumping it in the big trash cans. In addition to picking up your trash, Ananian says people should be careful when going in the water. For 17 News, I'm Perla Shaheen.